my first question is to you. Me. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but I hope my mom's watching somewhere. Uh, is how did Vinay pitch this to you? I've heard it from Vin Vinay, but I want to hear it from you. When he expressed his wish for the first time that he wants to document because he believed that something is crumbling, something is happening and the rest of the world is not realizing and seeing things what is happening. Uh, they do see me, see my face, my anxieties and some news about me but they don't have any idea about what process we are going through. And uh, I said to him that there is nothing exciting in my life. So you won't get any different shots and everything. So it's a boring life. Car comes out from my apartment, parked into my office, and come to the, my apartment and I am packed in that small room. So he was very convinced, I wasn't convinced, that uh, my life should be documented. I was little worried that uh, I avoid myself to be glorified beyond a point, but time was such that I could not avoid that. So he came with camera, and uh, he, Aman Sheikh, and Reshma and many others, talented guy, they become part of my life. The only regret is that they shot me in and out, but they didn't talk to me, never. And they never responded <laughs> when I was crying or telling in my car that, yeah, this is not going no one is listening to me. Who am I talking to? They were listening, but they were not responding. Vinay, and that actually leads to my question for you is, I know very dear filmmaking, but how do you resist that urge to you know, cross that boundary you've made for yourself and participate in something that's, that's trying to pull you in all the time? Uh, See, very honestly, I'm a very selfish filmmaker. So as much as I, uh, uh, as much, uh, it's a documentary filmmaking or any, uh, you know, artistic endeavor is an exercise in patience, you know. Uh, uh, very of, I know Ravish is saying that I didn't talk to him, but I didn't have the answers either. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, uh, besides your discipline teaches you that you have to be quiet, you have to observe. Uh, when I am shooting, uh, when, even when I was shooting with Ravish and at NDTV and all his colleagues and family, you're always trying to see it from the perspective of the audience and the audience doesn't talk back, right? So, so that you could have this experience, I have to make the sacrifice at that point, a, a brutal one, of not responding to somebody uh, uh, even though it may be against your natural instinct. Uh, but that's filmmaking. So you have to... Yeah, those are calls that you're constantly making. As a filmmaker, you're constantly trying to read the room. Uh, uh, not just in terms of shooting with Ravish, but shooting with others also as well. Okay, cup shooting. How many people are comfortable with Hindi? I can translate for whoever is. I think everybody is comfortable with Hindi. It's good for me. Because the amount of English I had to pay for, it was paid. Now it's not the child. Okay, I'll try my best translating. So he's saying all the English that he brought with himself is now. He's spent. he's spent it and disseminated <laughs> it. So, and oh yeah. Or, मेरे हाँ कहने के पीछे भी मेरा एक स्वार्थ था कि मुझे तीन security guard मिल गए थे रेशमा अमान शेख एंड विनय. So he found three security officers in the film crew. So that was one added advantage of saying yes to this. तो मैं कहीं भी जाता था ये तीन लोग कैमरा लेकर चलते थे तो लोगों को लगता था ये कुछ दूसरा उन्हीं के जैसा है बड़े साहब की तरह जो हमेशा कैमरे से फॉलो किया जाता है इट गेव हिम या 
बड़े साहब मीन्स बड़े साहब एक्सप्लेन बड़े साहब ट्रांसलेशन बट he he thinks yes. that hanging around with these cool kids made him a cool kid <laughs> <laughs> so um the last question before i uh, move it out to the audience you made a film very long ago about a jail officer prison officer prison worker mm. and then you made a film about the man who's now the chief minister of delhi mm. what do you what about your protagonists mm. attracts you for you to want to tell a story about them uh well the the film about arvind was co-directed by kushbu uh, who's my producer on this film uh i am fundamentally attracted to people who raise their hand and say i disagree uh people who are always going like nahi uh, uh that is for me uh, a great conversation starter uh, uh i am working in non-fiction in a country wherein uh i could just make fiction very easily make you know have many more friends and have a much more illustrious career uh, uh, uh but somewhere my uh, uh, uh very early on in my choice in my career i made the choice of saying no i won't do that so it's it's the gad flies who i'm attracted to the people who uh, who find themselves in big setups who choose to go against the current and uh, you know my life the films that i have made a uh, 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 an insignificant man was about an early phase of idealism also in my life uh 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 wherein we were trying to figure out what the possibilities of idealism was and when it's confronted with real world politics this film when i approached revish and you know uh i was personally in a phase wherein i was questioning my own relevance uh i do that as my as a hobby uh <laughs> and really wondering if i should be uh, making films anymore making the kind of films i make uh, watching the news was in general driving me insane and and not just here uh, uh, not just in india across the world most of my friends were like we don't watch the news it's not good for my mental health uh, so the ex- the the experience of watching the news was very very anxiety ridden but the films that i was seeing or the newsroom dramas that i used to see on 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 screen they didn't reflect that anxiety of consuming news mm. so in ravish i found a protagonist who was going through a similar phase that i was uh and he unlike uh, uh, ye thoda ajeeb hai unke samne baat karna like he's not here uh, uh, it's strange to to speak, speak about him in front of him like as if he's, he's not, not here yeah uh but unlike a lot of uh, uh, uh like for example what the 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 idea of saying no uh, unlike most indian news anchors or news anchors everywhere who are busy justifying the audience saying the audience wants it hence we do it uh and they'll have you know they'll do whatever it takes to uh, to feed that logic ravish goes on air and quest and chastises his audiences and says you are not doing enough <laughs> what are you doing yeah. right he chastises his audiences for knowing better and it's 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 it people have very strong responses to that but i think that's a good plot that's where my filmmaking instinct comes in and i go like okay there's something happening there's a larger story and uh, and that's where i dive in with the cameras this is a whole different story but your partner taught me in college and that is exactly what she did to well. she taught us to question whatever came our way ज़रूर <laughs> मुझे नोयना ने सिर्फ किताब पढ़ना नहीं सिखाया सवाल करना सिखाया और हजारों लोगों के बीच बोलना सिखा दिया सो ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज पार्टनर शी जस्ट इन टीच हिम टू रीड बुक्स बट शी टॉट यू टू क्वेश्चन एंड स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स व्हेन वेल दैट्स टू थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स आर pointing their gun towards me <laughs> and then it's a test that aap bol sakte hain ki nahi bol sakte hain par ye jo film hai mujhse vinay ne pucha ki koi aap se pooch dega ki ye film aap se aapko kaisi lagi to kya kahenge so vinay asked him vinay, what will you sorry yeah. vinay asked him what will you say when people ask you if you like the film or not maine vinay ko wahan to jawab nahi diya लेकिन यहाँ देना चाहता हूँ इस फिल्म को मैं अच्छी कैसे कह सकता हूँ जो आपने देखा है वो वो छोटा सा हिस्सा देखा है सिर्फ मेरा नहीं है बहुत से ऐसे पत्रकारों का जीवन तबाह हो गया कम पैसे में 
कई साल तक उन्होंने काम किया एन और एन के बाहर के भी पत्रकारों की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ जिससे मैं गुजर रहा था उससे वो भी गुजर रहे थे तो मैं उनकी तमाम पत्रकारों की जो थोड़े बहुत हैं लेकिन करना चाहते थे पत्रकारिता मैं उस कहानी का एक किरदार बन गया लेकिन मैं इसे अच्छा नहीं कह सकता मैं नहीं चाहता कि ऐसी कोई फिल्म बने जहां हम इतने प्यारे देश को हमने हमारा जो लोकतंत्र है डेमोक्रेसी है बहुत ही अर्जित लोकतंत्र है अर्नड है और इसको हम दिवाली के दिन जुए में उड़ा रहे हैं और रोंदते जा रहे हैं अपने अपने बायसेस के साथ और देखते जा रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा मीडिया तो यहाँ का भी नहीं है अमेरिका का लेकिन आ, मुझे यहाँ का कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन्स मालूम है लेकिन वो लड़ाई तो हमें खुद से लड़नी है उस जगह की और उसे इस देश के हिंदुस्तान के ही लोग लड़ेंगे हिंदुस्तान के ही अखबारों को खड़ा करना पड़ेगा पर यह कहानी मुझे उम्मीद की ज़रूर लगती है अच्छी नहीं है मैं नहीं कह सकता पर इस कहानी से एक उम्मीद तो है आपने इसमें सौरभ शुक्ला को देखा लेकिन कुछ दिन पहले मैं अपने गांव गया था बहुत सारे ऐसे यूट्यूबर से मिला हूं जो अब उम्मीदों से लैस हो चुके हैं उन्हें पता है कि उन्हें जेल में डाल दिया जाएगा ईडी से बच गए तो कहीं और फंसा दिए जाएंगे कैमरा छीन लिया जाएगा फ़ोन छीन लिया जाएगा लेकिन उस दिन के पहले तक वो पत्रकारिता कर रहे हैं और उनका चेहरा कभी दिखता नहीं है क्योंकि वो अब अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर के बहुत कम मजदूरी पे काम करने वाले मजदूर बन चुके हैं वो इसलिए आपको नज़र नहीं आता है लेकिन इसी निराशा के दौर में कुछ फूल खिल रहे हैं Let's yeah because I'm Bengali I understand Hindi but why don't you start and I'll fill in the gaps uh so when I I speak as Ravish uh when when I came and asked me uh uh when I asked me what would you say to people if they say whether you like this film or not and I chose to uh uh I didn't answer him then but I'm answering but I'd like to answer here that it's difficult for me to see this film and say that I like it because it's not just my story but the story of thousands of you know small journalists who are some of who are working within ndtv some of them who are working outside ndtv uh whose lives have been at stake for the last couple of years f- ever since they started doing this where they have been working at very small pace uh, uh with very meager resources uh so you see me on screen but there are so many like me out there and uh it's difficult for me to say that uh, i like this film because i don't want more films like this to be made wherein you see such a beautiful country you see such high ideals being lost and crushed uh however in this space of uh, despair and sadness uh, i do find hope in uh, uh young uh, uh youtube uh, journalists people who are putting their own people who are offering uh, uh, again working within very limited resources but they are becoming authors they're taking on the establishment uh they are choosing to do journalism uh uh, uh outside that of organized setups and 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 big corporations and there is uh, uh, even in this uh, sort of um, you know grim scenario uh, uh there some are some flowers are blooming some flowers are blooming <laughs> So, and which is why this is a film of hope <laughs> and so it's bigger than good or bad and like and dislike and it's a and very that is hard a hard on democracy. democracy yes aur ye bhi ek sanjog hai coincidence hai ki ye film jin kahaniyon ko lekar aage badh rahi hai jo kahaniyan hain उसकी एक साइकिल आज पूरी होती है सेबी ने अलाउ कर दिया है अदानी साहब को एनडीटीवी खरीदने के लिए शेयर्स खरीदने के लिए तो हाँ, सेठ के पास बहुत पैसा है <laughs> बस मैं नहीं हूँ तो Do you want to? Uh, uh, there is, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's quite serendipitous that this is uh, this this film screening is happening today because. Uh, 
NDTV is currently in the midst of a hostile takeover bid, which has, as of today, been approved by Indian regulatory bodies. So uh, the billionaire who's buying it has uh, uh, has has uh, money and power on his side, but not me, my e Ravish. I can, yeah. Can एक छोटे सी बात और बहुत मुश्किल लड़ाई NDTV ने भी लड़ी. आपने देखा होगा. हमारे बहुत सारे कॉलीग बहुत टैलेंटेड कॉलीग धीरे धीरे जाते रहे आसान नहीं था तब जाना उस जगह पे जहाँ किसी को जाने नहीं दिया जाता था ठीक है नाराज़ है चार दिन के लिए चले जाओ पाँचवें दिन आ जाना तो सब गए धीरे धीरे चले गए और ये न्यूज़ आपके लिए एक नॉर्मल रूटीन कॉरपोरेट हैंड की खबर है पर वो है नहीं तो लड़ा सब ने बहुत लोग जिनके नाम आप नहीं जानते हैं लेकिन इस फिल्म के कारण आप उन्हें देख रहे हैं कि किस तरह से लड़ रहे हैं जब स्वरलिपि गई व्हेन शी लेफ्ट आई लॉस्ट माय सोल सो मुझे समझ नहीं आया कि मैं कैसे उस दफ्तर में फिर जा पाऊंगा लेकिन जैसे हर कोई आ रहा था आ रहा था कुछ मिल नहीं रहा था कुछ उम्मीद नहीं थी लेकिन फिर भी आ रहा था तो कहानी यही है कि अपने आप को रोकिए मत जब तक कोई सेठ पूरे न्यूयॉर्क को खरीद ना ले तब तक न्यूयॉर्क में घूमना फिरना चलना दौड़ना छोड़िए मत आई जस्ट ब्लैंक आउट हाउ डिड वी स्टार्ट that it was hard to get here for ndtv oh, and yeah, yeah uh, so people he was saying that for four days they would fight and then come back on the fifth day uh, ndtv itself has had a very tough journey uh, as a corporation as a company and 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 they have seen very difficult times too uh, also people within ndtv it's been very very difficult for them to do to do various beats uh, people you don't see within the uh, uh, within the film uh, and uh, it's been a hard couple of years uh, so while this news of the of the hostile takeover may appear as uh, routine business news it is not so uh, it's uh, quite important that uh, uh, we are able to somehow uh, you know we understand the cost okay i don't remember what he said but i'm just going to say what i said <laughs> uh people for when swadli p left he was completely heartbroken uh, and and it's like his soul left his body so it's moments like that and the person who's screaming is uh, amitava kumar he's a journalist whose work introduced me to ravish uh, uh, who wrote many years ago about ravish so i'm very very this room i have so much respect uh, for a lot of people who are here amongst the people ha he's from his he's from his district uh, if i may just say something very very small uh, you know i we've made this film and ravish is here and at times we feel like uh, you know f- being an idealist today uh, uh being hopeful today is is a costly enterprise hope is not cheap uh uh it's uh, it's not vulgar uh you have to you have to preserve it you have to you have to nourish it you have to fight for it uh i was when i was making this film i i was hoping that somehow it will hold the hands of people who feel similarly uh, uh i'm very happy that you know some of my idols are here there's uh, maxine from doc society without whom this film would not have been possible there's anurama shefali jehan uh, uh brenda we are here because there is a community there are people out there who have held my hand and who have walked this far the tallest amongst them without a doubt He is sitting at the back in the last row his name is anand patwardhan anand patwardhan introduced me to the art of documentary so if it wasn't for people like anand patwardhan uh, i wouldn't be here uh, and uh, i'm i just wanted to say that cuz you know jitna akele hum sochte hain ki hum hain shayad hum utne akele nahi hain there are lots of people in this room who are who i believe are on the same voyage uh, and i hope you have meaningful conversations before you leave yeah and what when i said was you are perhaps not as lonely as we think we are jinhe naaz hai hind par wo yahan hai okay i'm not going to translate that uh questions so i 
we can just I'm sorry, we can just take one and make it count. No pressure. You can pick. I'm not picking the rest. Uh, I don't know. Uh, namaste. Uh, thank you for the wonderful film. Uh, uh, I'm a scientist at Mount Sinai, so my question is journalist or filmmaker, but I'm watching any film or movie, so I'm trying to watch it in India. If I read a story again, like Akbar Birbal's story, so the person is standing in the night, in the cold, and the next day, he asks him, how can he stay in the night? आखिर रात भर कैसे खड़े रह पाए तो वो बोलता है कि वो जो दूर दीपक दिख रहा था उसके सहारे मैं रात भर खड़ा रह गया अब इसे अगर अभी के परिदृश्य में रखें कि अंधकार इज लाइक अपना डेमोक्रेसी का जो हालत हो रहा है तो वन इज व्हाट बीरबल डज नेक्स्ट डे हाँ तो एक जर्नलिस्ट को उस बीरबल की तरह शायद होना चाहिए था जो सत्ता को सही तरीके से बता सकता था कि हाँ जो आप डिसीजन ले रहे हो गलत है तो रविश कुमार जी को वैसे आप देखना चाहेंगे या फिर और अगर थोड़ा डार्क जाए तो रविश कुमार जी उस नदी में खड़े उस गरीब किसान की तरह नहीं, हैं नहीं, 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 या थर्ड पार्ट या एक गरीब किसान की तरह है जो डिमोक्रेसी दूर दीपक की तरह डिमोक्रेसी का एक दिख रहा है या रविश कुमार जी उस दीप वो दीपक हैं जिसके सारे बाकी लोग अभी भी उस नदी में खड़े हैं कि सुबह हो जाएगी और हम लोग बाहर निकल सकेंगे ही इज अ साइंटिस्ट एंड सो हिज क्वेश्चन इज ही ट्राइज टू सी थिंग्स फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव एंड कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड uh, how I see Ravish or Ravish sees himself in the larger context of whether is Ravish the medium or the spectator or the power to be? Or the be? hope. Or the hope. Yeah. yeah. Um, Are you on? Chote me jawab deta hoon. इतने बड़े देश की लड़ाई के लिए और लड़ने के लिए कभी एक आदमी बहादुर नहीं होता है वो काफ़ी होता है एक आदमी लेकिन सारी उम्मीदें उसी से नहीं करनी चाहिए जब आप ऐसा करते हैं तो आप अपने डर को प्रोसेस नहीं करते हैं मुझे जो बात ठीक लगी कि इस फिल्म ने मुझे दिखाया कि मैं बहुत वलरेबल इंसान हूँ और रोज़ अपने डर को क्रॉस करता हूँ तो आप लोग भी ये जो डराया गया है ईडी के नाम पर वीज़ा नहीं देने के नाम पर घेर कर मार देने के नाम पर तो इस तरह के डर से एक एक डर से एक एक कदम आगे बढ़ते हुए जैसे मैं चल रहा हूँ उसको पार कीजिए दूर दीपक मत देखिए अपने कदमों के नीचे देखिए कि वो ज़मीन आपसे खींच ली गई है और जिस हिंदुस्तान को आप जानते हैं वो हिंदुस्तान अब नहीं है कोई ऐसा फर्जी एग्जामिनेशन हुआ होगा मैं तो नहीं जानता कि दुनिया के और कौन से देश उस एग्जाम में बैठे थे जिसमें पास होकर हम विश्व गुरु बनने वाले हैं आप जानते हैं तो मुझे ज़रूर बताइएगा तो इसलिए निराश होने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है बेवजह डरने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है थोड़ी थोड़ी अपने डरों से बाहर आइए अपने अपने घरों से बाहर आइए और आप देखिए तो बाग लहलाने के लिए तैयार हैं यही मैं यहाँ आकर कहना चाहता हूँ आपसे ठीक है और राइट विनय योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ सो नो नो आई कैन आई कैन आई कैन गिव इट अ शॉर्ट आई हैव सबटाइटल दी इंटायर फिल्म नॉट मी बट रेशमा सो आई थिंक it's important to understand that uh, how did he start not one you can't pit it yeah. up one uh, person for as can long be for as long as this dialogue is centered say some for today it's centered around ravish right and we are trying to uh, 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 
find more meaning or trying to uh, 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 understand Ravish from various lenses as some sort of savior for democracy and somebody who will take our hopes forward. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a hope that is going to capsize sooner than later. Uh, for as long as we continue believing that individuals will be our savior, uh, uh, that is by itself a fallacy. Uh, uh, we reduce the fight to an individual because we are somehow not able to process our own fears. Because we are not processing uh, 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 our own complex emotions and, and, and because we are not uh, uh, embracing complexity with regards to solutions, we tend to believe in simple solutions in trying to uh, look at one leader, one political party, one news organization, one journalist as some sort of a savior and then come up with you know, a multiple sort of analysis around that. We have to step away from that. Instead of looking at parables, instead of looking at some sort of a... Array of hope, ray a, of light. Array of hope and trying to analyze it from various, uh, from various angles, we must understand the grounds that we are losing from beneath our feet. Uh, 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 there, is, there, there is a very active role that citizens must play in reclaiming the ground that is being taken away from them beneath their feet and it has to be it has to be done via uh, all of us or at least those who care overcoming small fears in big ways every day uh, uh, you have to walk towards uh, uh, what is calling out to you. You don't need to run towards it, you don't need to snatch it, you don't need to dive at it. But it's a very slow, steady walk. Uh, 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 in trying to see things from the perspective of India and, and trying to say India the superpower, those are sort of uh, you know myth-laden myth uh, uh, and story-laden debates uh, are attractive, but they are simple. And we have to walk away from simplicity and, and embrace courage. Yeah. Good job. All right, so each one of you will have to go back home, tell your friends and family that the film screens again tomorrow at 4.35 p.m. right here. और अगर आपने किसी ने वीडियो बनाया है फिल्म का तो मत डालिएगा या इफ एनी ऑफ यू आप सभी आए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप सभी का बहुत अच्छा लगा कि आप लोग आए और मैं मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा so if you have filmed portions of the film, please do not post that video anywhere. And the rest of it you saw from the glow on his face, he's very thankful that he's here tonight. Thank you, have a good night. All right, thank you.